everyone, it's me, Kevin Smith. This is the IMDb studio at Acura Festival Village. And look, it's the cast and crew of Black Bear. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Um, all right, kids, before you describe what this movie is, because I read the synopsis many times, you know, I don't get to see anything, and it is way too smart for me. You just had the screening. Yeah. Lawrence, what was it like? Um, I was terrified. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I guess underneath that was excitement. Right, right, right. Um, but I think it went pretty well, uh, and now I'm feeling a little better. But I'm not like, you know, the chemicals were going, the fear chemicals. But how's your stomach? They haven't worn off. But My stomach's all right today. Yeah. Why, Yesterday is that a problem bad. normally, the stomach? Um, altitude alone is usually a problem, and then stress. Mm -hmm. added, added to it, so you're like, yeah, the whole time. Other things too, though, other things bother your stomach. Yeah, yeah. My stomach's just a constant problem. <laughs> right, right, right. But if I'm stressed out or on a high altitude, it's even worse. But right now, post Are we gonna be talking about this for a long time, or? Okay. I'm with you, okay. I'm right there with yeah. you, man. Did you on set or something? What are they talking about? <laughs> Why are they, they're all like knowingly like, ask him about his stomach. Uh, we, just because it's a big we, preoccupation. We farted throughout the <laughs> um, hopefully it's not like he's like he can't stand gluten and we're all laughing at him because like that's oh, a no, real it thing. Is exactly like that. Is it? It's exactly. Well, I feel for you, Lawrence. Yeah. Um, I got your take on the movie. What about your take? You've been here many times, so how did you feel the screening went? You can gauge based on other screenings and stuff. Oh no, I don't uh, sense the energy in the room. I'm generally. Um, out of touch with reality. So. <laughs> you don't watch the movie is what you're saying. So. No, of course I did, but did my you? experience is different, you know. It's my own personal nightmare. Right, right, right. Um, simple question though, how do you think it played? Jesus, help great. me out here. Played great, played great. Play great? Kids, learn from their mistakes. How'd the movie play? I think it played <laughs> No, I do think it played great. It played really great. Yeah. Yeah. What was great. so yeah. nice is that was so much life. of our crew were there, so that was really lovely to share the film with them. Mm -hmm. It was great. Captain? No, yeah, I agree. Um, there was a lot of people there that I was surprised from, uh, from our movie. So, I mean, granted, we were sitting in a section surrounded by a lot of love, so it was really loud. But I don't right. know if was that just our section no, or the whole theater? The section, but I did oh, yeah. hear, there was a lot of laughter. You never know. There was a lot of laughter, more than I thought there was gonna be. It's a funny movie, but it's also pretty dark, and it's a, it's a, it was a tough balance to work out in the edit and even on the shoot. So. And in an afternoon screening, too, going yeah. into it, you're like, what are they gonna feel like? Yeah. Take us into Black Bear, what is it about? You said it's uh, kind of dark. It, it, well, yeah, it's a movie about the creative process, and it's kind of about the lengths that artists will go to, to create work. So um, it's also the kind of movie that's better the less you know about it going into it, because nothing's really what it seems in the right, film. Right, right, right. I got you, so yeah. we'll stop talking about it altogether. <laughs> um, you, uh, you created the role for this uh, young lady over here, is that what I understood? Uh, like yeah. you wanted her? Yes, uh, Aubrey and I worked on a show called Easy Together, mm -hmm. Joe Swanberg show, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I saw a different side of her uh, from working with her on that show, um, and I thought it'd be really interesting to work with her and do something a little different than roles that I'd seen her do before. Lady so, yeah. Plaza, you're playing two, uh, same person, but two different shades of person from what I understand from the description. Is that yeah. right? You it's present like it one way and then come into something else? <laughs> we're not supposed but to talk about that. We're not supposed to talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> Is it really? My bad. Um, Was it hard to play this movie? <laughs> oh God, yes. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, what are, what are we allowed to talk no, about? you can talk about um, it. Sure, shades. I played two shades of a different uh, horse. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> um, yeah, the subtle, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it's an interesting, challenging role. Yeah. Fair enough. Kids? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also played two different horses. Yes. <laughs> As well. Yeah. 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 I played a, a horse of a different color. A little Shetland, yeah. uh, who grows into a mare. I played a horse's ass in the beginning. It was great. And I was like, mm, fire day. Yeah. Was it like this every day on set, Lawrence? <laughs> no, because we could actually talk about things. But so, you know, we don't want to do spoilers. That's what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. It's, yeah, that's true. Good point, man. It's hard. No, All right, then let's uh, just go into generic stuff without spoiling the movie. What is it like to have a film up at Sundance? Um, it's overwhelming. It's an overwhelming honor. I mean, I've been making movies for like 15 years, and I've, this is my fourth, and all the other ones were rejected. And this so this is the first time in. you've been yeah. up here? Yeah. No, I've been here before. But not with a film? Not with a film that I directed. Yeah, I've acted So you've gotten something. rejection letters from these cats before? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you kept going at it? Like, I would have been the guy that's like, these people. But you... No, really? Yeah, oh my God, yeah. I'm from New Jersey. If you burn me so once, I'm like, ugh. Really? Yeah. What part of New Jersey are you from? Northern. 
That's the difference. Yeah. Also, I'm Central Jersey, where everybody makes poor decisions, apparently. I, <laughs> I have to say, I was inspired by Clerks as a young uh, burgeoning director. Get out of yeah. here. Really? Yeah. I just thought, you know, this guy made a great movie for 10,000 bucks. Maybe I can do it, so. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Um, let me, uh, let's talk about, since we can't talk about what the movie's about, why can't we talk about what the movie's about? How, it's not a Marvel movie. What the we can are we talk talking about, about here? It's, that's we true. can talk about let's get, it. let's get over ourselves. Yes, right? yeah, yeah, heavens. <laughs> <laughs> because kidding. something really, so there's a surprising turn in the movie that yes. it's, it like, isn't as fun to watch if you give it away, maybe. Although they say psychologically, audiences are fine. Well, here, did, the, did, <laughs> it, did you see the, did the turn play the way you I wanted to? I think it did. I think it did. Um, but, you know, and also it's a kind of movie that it's not that interesting to say what literally happens in the movie because um, it, it's, a lot of it is subterranean. Mm -hmm. But um, Aubrey's character plays a filmmaker who's, um, who's blocked in her work. And she goes to this writer's retreat. Um, Chris and Sarah's uh, are, are running it, the couple that's running it, and uh, Sarah's character is pregnant. And um, Aubrey and Chris's character form a bond, and um, it, it creates, it, it goes to some really interesting and dark places. Beautiful. Uh, well done. Yeah, oh so that, that's, that's that, like that the literal things. Good. That's the literal very stuff nice. that happens very in the nice. movie. Right. But it's, you know. Um, you produced on this as well? Yes. And you reached out for him, is what I understand? You were like, I like this guy. Well, I think we, I mean, not we agreed, people yeah, passed. We, we is that it? You were like pretty, fourth down and stuff? Pretty, uh, These are the people I wanted you? in the movie. This Did was, you really, your yeah. top choices? Yes. yes, that is, that's How awesome true. Is that? Yeah, it's really cool. And we can thank Chris Andrews for that, and Aubrey. Yes. Yeah. Her you know, agent. Really? Put the it same together? Agent, and he liked the project and, and got them on board. And the universe, because yeah. some things are just meant to happen. Of course. Yeah, this is my Dreamcast. And it worked out. You kids have uh, been in Cronenberg projects. Did I read that correctly? Both separately and not together? Well, you've been in two different yeah, Cronenberg. Yeah, I've done a couple of David Cronenberg films. and then What is that like? Great. Yeah, he's actually a sweetheart, even though his movies are really dark. They're really like weird, right? But he's sweetheart. Canadian as hell. He's a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And you worked with him or no? No, I worked with Brandon. The kid? Yes. Who you also like? worked that you also yeah. worked with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, our other film is here. The Brandon's film is here. That premieres? Tomorrow. So you got two films at Sundance? Yeah. Look at you, man. Have you ever done that before? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, last time I was here. Like really, at two flags? Yeah, yeah. You're like, it's what I do, bro. That's what I do. Um, I'm gonna take you through a Sundance <laughs> speed round of questions, kids. Uh, real quick answers. Uh, don't think too hard about them. They're not meant to be that serious. Number one, a prop you wish you stole from any set that you worked on, go. Um, there's a rolling, uh, uh, there's a, there was a big bear in, in the house that we shot in, which was fortuitous, um, because the movie's called Black Bear, obviously. Right, right. I wish I had that. It's kind of big for my house, but. Still, man, we were Also having... hard to steal. <laughs> Very true. It's big, it's a bear. It's it a was bear. once a real bear. Yeah. Black bear. Um, I don't know, maybe um, my donkey friend from the Little Hours. Um, I really love that donkey. That's an Italian donkey, no? Yeah, it was an Italian donkey. So you haven't seen the donkey named since? Victoria, um, and she was pregnant at the time. And um, it's hard enough working with a regular donkey. Um, when you've got a pregnant one, there's uh, more complications. Do you think? Do you ever think about the donkey in a positive way, or is it always like them? Them pregnant donkeys, they suck. No, no, no. I have great feelings about the donkey, which is why I brought it up. I would love to have stolen that donkey from that set. It would have been a pain in the ass bringing it over from Italy, right? No pun intended. <laughs> what about you? Thank you. Well done. Uh, I had this, uh, it's kind of, it's not really a prop, I don't know. I had a, a prosthetic made for a film I did called Enemy of a full pregnant torso with boobs. And I didn't want the like creepy effects guys to like put it in their studio. So I took it with me at the end and... I, I drove it to the Adirondacks to Larry to see if maybe he wanted me to wear it in this because I was pregnant in this, but he was like, no. <laughs> so then I drove it home and then I did another job after this that I was pregnant in and I wore it in that, so. <laughs> and you're like, it's I like come my, with my own. Yeah. So it was a prop you did take. Yeah, I took it, yeah. yeah. Did take it. Well done, you still lived the that, adventure. Still got that yeah, hypothetical my ass, you're like, I am a criminal. Um, <laughs> uh, there was a soda stream on this movie. And I really wish I uh, took <laughs> Taking it when you left? Um, one movie everyone should see, filmmaker, go. Like here? No, in general, in life. Oh, in general. Oh, let me think of something good. 
Um, <laughs> the pressure's on. Oh, God. Um, should be something not a lot of people have seen, right? Could be anything you want. Could be anything I Even want. Even if you're like, oh, my God, Home Alone, I'd be like, whatever, but yes. <laughs> Any okay. movie. What's one movie everyone should see? Um, the Turning Gate by Hong sang si Wow. Wow. Say it again. It's called The Turning Gate. It's actually a longer title than that, like, some, like somebody's something at The Turning Gate, but I think in America we just call it The Turning Gate by a Korean director named Hong sang So. Done, Great done. Movie. Excellent choice. Aubrey? Uh, uh, Rat Boy. <laughs> really? Yes. Sandra Locke? Yes. Well, I mean, what? Oh, my God. You weren't even born when that movie was Come, out. Who cares? It's a wonderful movie. I know. Um, wow, what a great poll. Thanks. Uh, opening night, Cassavetes. Wow. Yes. Nobody has vouched for Cassavetes yet in all these questions. Well done. Chris Stalker. Burke. Tarkovsky, Stalker. I don't know that one. What is really it? Yeah, it's a, it's a bad, it's like a bad, yeah, crazy dream. <laughs> That or Mrs. Doubtfire, either one. <laughs> no, Excellent. that's that's actually not a joke. I love that movie. Really? You're yeah. like standing up for Mrs. Doubtfire still. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, How I'm long did it take you to figure out that he was the guy? <laughs> oh, well, at five Third years Third viewing, old, right? Yeah, it took me a while, but it, man. If only life could be like that. Yes. Give it up for the cast and crew of Black Bear, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.